Okay, getting set up out here today, getting ready for another uh, Dumbo's World shoot here. Ron one with you. Uh, today I'm going to shoot a Mechanic 9mm. Uh, let's go take a look at that. Okay, here's a Canic 9mm. This is an all steel and it is the Stingray C. Stingray Compact in a a desert tan. Um, I picked this up at uh, Bucky O'Neill's in Prescott and just as a kind of a whim buy just saw it and um, loved how it looked. So as soon as I picked it up felt this thing in my hand oh my god I had to have it. Yeah, I don't remember what it cost but it wasn't that expensive and I probably bought it maybe five-ish years ago. But anyway, uh, as you probably will, you'll see in this video, I'll do a little tabletop on it. And, um, or I don't know, I may not need a tabletop. This may do right here. So anyway, we're going to do a little plinking with it right now. So as you can see down there, I've got a little Evil Roy there. I believe it's a 10-inch steel plate. So that's all I'm going to use today. I'm not going to use any targets. I'll go ahead down there and spray it a little bit uh, give it a nice clean surface all I could find at the house I couldn't find any flat black but I've got this pretty dark green camouflage paint here so that'll work that'll show the bullet pock marks good enough this can's been sitting around quite a while Oh yeah, good enough for a metal target, eh? Okay, this thing came with uh, two 15-round Metgar magazines. I tell you, Metgar makes some really nice magazines. Uh, and right now, I'm just hitting C, and it's a single action, double action, has a thumb safety. And again, man, this thing just feels fantastic in my hand. It's got a two dots on the rear, single dot on the front. Rear sight is adjustable for windage by sliding it into dovetail. And so I'm going to do five shots from the bench here first just to see. It's been so long since I shot this, I don't remember how or where this thing was shooting. So we'll just do some off the bench here first. Shooting maybe just a tad high. And I don't know if I mentioned it or not, I'm shooting from uh, 40 feet, 10 inch metal Evil Roy target. And as I guess you think you saw, all 15 were on target. A little on the high side, I was pretty point of aim was center of the 10 inch, so it shoots a little high for me at that distance. So let's uh, do a couple, try some double taps, which I've never done much, so this will probably suck. And it won't be fast, but let's give it a try. Ten shots, 
trying to double tap as fast as this old man can and I think uh, missed a lot of the second shots <laughs> need to calm down a little bit okay I missed uh, three of the second shots on that double tap three of them missed the 10 inch circle so let me try this once more here That time I missed two of the uh, first shots on the slow double tap. Let's go take a look at this camera. I know you saw it in the insert, but let's count these shots. But I think I spent too much time counting the shots and not enough time concentrating. So there is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, missed two. I'm pretty sure it was some first shots that I missed. I guess I need to keep practicing this. And I do have a timer that I used to use in the 90s when I did a lot of fast shooting with my Uncle Ed. So I need to get that thing pulled out and start getting up my speed plus accuracy here. Okay, let's go ahead and wrap this thing up here. I'll just go over this a little bit. Oh, by the way, this is what I was shooting today. Federal Champion. Uh, again, a Canik Stingray. Came with two Metgar 15 round magazines. Has a ambidextrous thumb safety, ambidextrous uh, slide release. Uh, let's see what else has an extended area here for gloved hand, finger in there. Has serrations on the front here. If you're one of those kind of people, nothing fancy. Does have a rail up front. Sights are uh, two dot white dots in the back, one dot in the front. Adjustable windage in the back by sliding it in the dovetail. Uh, what else do we need to know about this thing? Grips are plastic. I check out V's, VZ, see if they have any placement grips for this. Plus, this thing look cool with some custom grips on it. Uh, the trigger is fair. Single action, it's actually pretty good. Double action, it's not bad. It's a little long, not bad. Uh, let's see, it feels great in the hand. I think this is after a CZ75, I believe, which if you've ever felt any of those, they're just fantastic in the hand. Finish is nice. Color, I think, is nice. Uh, what else? The magwell is not beveled. The uh, magazine release is extended pretty good. And I guess that's it for today. Canic Stingray. Thanks for looking in. Give us a subscribe. Whoops, hit the camera. Uh, give us a subscribe on our uh, variety channel, you know. We've got, I think now we've got 11 different playlists, all with a different subject and topic. So it's got to be something there for everyone. So. Check us on YouTube, GunStreamer, and uh, YouTube, and YouTube. <laughs> day. Uh, we'd like to subscribe on all of those, uh, but any of them would be great. So, thanks again. Thanks for coming along. Let's uh, load up that Jeep and hit the road. Maybe do a little four-wheeling while we're out here in that little weird Jeep. Bye-bye.